new videos every day. Life, wisdom, psyche truth, massage. Hi everybody, this is Gregory Gorey with BodyworkMasters.com and today we're going to be doing some light stretching on common tight areas. So we're going to stretch the psoas, we're going to stretch the quadriceps, the pecs, and we're also going to do some mobilization uh, for the thoracic spine and sacroiliac joints. So the first thing we're going to do is start to mobilize the uh, iliosacral joint, or the sacroiliac joint, excuse me. And that's just a light little traction. Uh, this will also put a traction through the rest of the spine, so you get a little uh, decompression of the spine. And normally during a massage, I would do this for about 45 seconds. And from there, you can take the foot onto the knee and we're going to do a little twist. I'm going to secure right here and she's actually quite limber. Uh, if she was restricted, I might have her push into my hand here and then uh, going back, but she has plenty of motion. Doing the same thing over here. This is kind of Traeger-esque. You, um, it's just a little light rocking. It can soothe the nervous system. And same thing again, uh, leg comes onto the knee, and then you're securing the other side here, and coming and twisting. Good. So we just mobilized the uh, lower uh, thoracic spine on a fixed upper spine. Now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to stretch the upper on the lower. So I'm going to put my hand here and just twist in. Good. And coming to the other side. And comes underneath the scapula and twisting. She just had a little adjustment. Uh, don't be surprised if you get a little snap or crackle, but we aren't we aren't trying to do that. It just happens sometimes when you start uh, getting the mobilization. So if you could um, turn onto your side for a moment, please. Uh, actually, the other way. And we're going to stretch out another real common area to um, uh, be tight and facilitated. And that's the pecs. So what I'd like you to do is to put your hand behind your back, j just like Oh, sorry. There we go. Uh, here and right there. Perfect. So now what I'm going to have you do is gently, 20% of your uh, effort, bring your elbow towards your nose. And contract. Perfect. For about a count of eight, relax. And a deeper stretch. And do that again. This shouldn't hurt. Let me know if it does and relax. When you stimulate the muscle beforehand, it stimulates the muscle spindles and you're able to get a deeper stretch. And one more time. And relax. Good. Now normally I would do this on both sides, but because of the camera angles, it's uh, not gonna be real effective. Let me have you turn onto your stomach for just a moment. So the next thing we're going to do is um, stretch out the quadriceps. So how we're going to do that is I'm going to come, I'm going to come to the first motion barrier here. I'm going to have you push into my hand, 
try to straighten out your leg, perfect, uh, like that motion. And let me have you push and relax and deeper. And again, five and relax. And you don't have to push that hard. It's about a 20% uh, contraction of your strength. And now we're all the way down to the glutes. So let me have you do that one more time and relax. This is a real good stretch for uh, people with tight quadriceps. Doing the same thing again. And you're gonna push into my hand here. And relax. And push into my hand. And relax, good. There we go. Now we're gonna stretch the psoas muscle. <clears throat> From this position, you can come, put the arm or the foot in the in your armpit to secure it, knee, hand underneath the knee. And I'm going to put my hand on her sacrum because I don't want her to go like way into um, uh, back hyperextension. So I'm going to keep it there so it's secure, and I'm just going to stretch it to that motion barrier. So this is a nice little psoas stretch. The hip flexors tend to be tight on most of us because we're a very uh, flexion dominant society. Good. And relax. And the same thing over here. I'm gonna try not to block the camera. And Again. Remember that you shouldn't, you need to stop uh, when you start to feel motion into the hand, otherwise, you can put too much strain on the low back. And relax. Good. So, we've been uh, in this video releasing and stretching some of the common tight areas, the quadriceps, hip flexors, uh, pecs. We mobilize the thoracic spine. And now we're going to get into uh, a couple of little neck stretches. Uh, the first one that we're going to do is uh, this levator. How we're gonna do that is I'm turning the head slightly, putting my hand underneath on the shoulder and stabilizing, bringing the neck up and when you get to that first motion barrier, I'm going to have you gently push back onto the table. And relax. And a little stretch. And one more time, push. And relax. And stretch. Good. Same thing here. I'm going to have you gently push back onto the table. And relax. A little deeper stretch and pushing back and relax and stretch good from there we're going to stretch out the upper trapezius let me have you gently push your uh, shoulder up into my hand and relax and a little stretch and one more time and relax and stretch and the same thing to this other side. And let me have you push up into my hand and relax. And one more time. And relax. Good. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out at bodyworkmasters.com. See you next time.